Hello, in this video we're going to show the new Lua language that is available in uh, all versions of Project Dog Awful. Um, this is a third party project um, that is a free download um, and once installed in uh, version 3.5 you have a Lua tab on the plugins panel um, and you can access all of your Lua scripts from this, uh, this um, tab or uh, as an option you can um, go to the utilities panel or uh, menu and uh, select the Lua browser uh, which is a little more advanced uh, version of the uh, the same uh, same idea you have a, a list to select but uh, this is a little more useful for when uh, you're developing scripts uh, because you can um, rename and delete and uh, refresh the list uh, as necessary you can also uh, you can also create a new script or uh, editing an existing uh, script from this panel. Um, uh, there are also uh, run uh, options and a help button on the panel. Um, and I'll uh, just go into some briefly into some of the features of the language. It's a somewhat uh, C-like language. Um, the uh, the double equals is the uh, comparison operator, for example. Um, uh, there's branching and uh, just about any, anything you'd expect in a, a normal programming language. Uh, there are also some unique capabilities like uh, the the ability for functions to return multiple values, which can be really quite useful. Um, in this case, the uh, get RGB function uh, returns red, green, and blue all with one uh, one command. Um, it can be quite useful. Um, Now I'm going to go ahead and run a script just to show how useful some of these can be. Um, we have here channels uh, RGB to YUV script, which uh, converts the uh, the current image into a YUV image. Um, and we can go and look at separate channels here. Um, that's the uh, Y or luminous channel, and the UV channels are uh, channels that are sort of the difference in colors um, and uh, this is really useful for uh, working on images that have been compressed uh, with JPEG. Uh, you can start to see banding and, and uh, all kinds of things, uh, little, little errors and things in these UV channels. So you can go in with with uh, image filters and just touch up these uh, specific channels and then go back and convert your image back into uh, uh, RGB with the uh, script that inverts that and uh, that's one quick way of uh, touching up images and uh, there's a lot of other capabilities you can get with Lua um, there's a uh, complete GUI support um, let me load the uh, GUI, GUI uh, script here you can see there's a uh, support for um, scroller scroll bars and uh, color selections buttons text uh, numbers and uh, drop down lists and that sort of thing 